the diabetes and weight loss drug Ozempic could be used to solve other conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome and Alzheimer's. Doctors tell NBC News patients have reported their conditions improved since taking the medication. Because of its demand, it's unlikely any studies will be able to happen in the near future. But some researchers, researchers rather, have been testing its abilities by using elements of the drug instead of the Ozempic label. Still, the answers won't come anytime soon as most of those studies aren't slated to end until the end of the decade. Meanwhile, a new weight loss drug is entering the market soon. And it is expected to change the industry. NBC's Stephanie Gosk looks into it. Eli Lilly's new drug is called Redditrutide. When we saw how they worked in our preclinical studies and then how we saw how it worked in, in patients for the first time, uh, we knew we were on the verge of, of a breakthrough. Unlike FDA-approved drugs Ozempic for diabetes and Wagovi for weight loss, which harness one hormone to control eating, according to Eli Lilly, Redditrutide harnesses three. We think that a medicine like this could someday offer the same levels of weight loss that you can see with bariatric surgery. In Redditrutide's second clinical trial, patients with obesity lost up to 17.5% of their body weight, more than 40 pounds in 24 weeks, nearly 60 pounds in 48 weeks. Jacynthia Jesse weighed close to 300 pounds before taking part in the trial. It has been a roller coaster ride for many of my adult years. While some participants were given a placebo, she believes she got the real injection, dropping 60 pounds. Having to put on clothes and realize that this is not my size anymore. Like, I literally have to go to the Goodwill, uh, give these away. That was just life-changing to me. Testing is in its early stages. A submission for FDA approval is years away. But Eli Lilly is hopeful it will get FDA approval for a different drug this year, the weight loss version of its approved diabetes medicine, Monjaro. There are analysts who say it'll be the most lucrative drug ever made. Hyperbole? Probably, yes. I, you know, I, I think at Lilly, we, we try not to focus too much on which drugs are going to be really big sellers. What we try and focus on is, are we making medicines that treat a, a deep unmet medical need? Eli Lilly is not alone in its push to research new drugs. Other pharmaceutical companies are doing the same. While obesity doctors say the medications that are on the market have already changed lives. It's been transformative, to say the least. I think it's given so many people hope that felt sort of helpless in this um, fight against the disease of obesity. The next step will be getting the medication in pill form, which Eli Lilly is working on. Easier to make and easier for people to access. We hope that obesity will be something that we can um, reverse for the majority of patients. And in doing so, it's not just about how they look or how they feel. It's for patients, it's really, uh, we believe, a change in their overall health. That was Stephanie Gosk reporting.